What is up guys? Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. If you wanna take portraits like these, then I'm gonna let you know four tips that will help you in your portrait game. Okay, so tip number one, the distance between your subject and the background. This is a much bigger deal than most people think because that background can be very, very distracting. If you have a portrait of somebody and you want the people that look at it to pay attention to who that person is, and you have a distracting background, well, they're gonna be looking at that background instead of your person. Now, you don't want a boring background, that's for sure. You want something that adds to your photo and makes your photo all the more great. You also don't want a background that's gonna distract people from your subject. You don't want people looking all the way over here or over here because that is more interesting than your main subject. You want your main subject to be the most interesting thing within the frame. Now I have two examples of good backgrounds and bad backgrounds for portraits. Now, when I say bad backgrounds, I don't necessarily mean that you can never do this because it's an artistic choice and maybe you want to break the rule a little bit. So here's the first picture of me and my friend Tyler when we went to go play tennis. And as you can see, the fence is really, really close to him. He's standing pretty much right against it. And now it does give you an artistic look that maybe you're going for. You can see how it could be slightly distracting because you want to look at the fence, you want to look at the trees in the back, but you also want to look at him. So let's change it up a little bit so that all of your attention is drawn to him instead. All I did for this photo is move him farther away from his background. So you can see the fence is out of focus, you can barely even see the links, and the background is still there, but it's not distracting from our main subject. Tip number two is props. Now props can make a huge difference within your portrait. It can make a really boring portrait turn into something more interesting. Now you can use things that, you know, explain who your subject is, something that they like. So when me and my friend Tyler went to go play tennis, it's a perfect plan to have him use a tennis racket and a tennis ball. So here we go, here's the example for props. You can see he's going to serve. So he has the tennis racket in his hand ready to serve and he's got the ball in the air. Now, your main focus is still on him, even though there are props in the frame, but it creates an action shot and you know something a little more interesting than him just standing there like the previous photo. So tip number three is creative use of shadows. Now, this is a big deal when shooting in direct sunlight because it, it's a much more challenging thing to do to shoot at you know 12 o'clock noon than to shoot at 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. golden hour. Golden Hour has nice light rays that come at an angle that isn't so harsh directly from the top. 12 noon can be very difficult to work with, but if you find a creative way to use your shadows, you can make your photos look awesome even at that time. Here we have an example of my friend Tyler standing within the rays of the sun, and it doesn't look terrible. I mean, it looks fine. It looks like a normal portrait that you'd see. Background is blurry like we talked about, so it looks pretty crisp and nice. But if we change it up to this one, you can see we held a tennis racket in front of the sun. So we got slight shadows on the face there just to give the shot something a little more interesting, you know, a little different than what you'd normally see. That helps you stand out as a photographer. And you can do this with anything. It doesn't have to be a tennis racket. I've used a laundry basket before with the holes in it. Uh, I do it all the time for my flat lay photography stuff that I do on Instagram you could use pretty much anything that would make shadows on your subject. And lastly, tip number four is foreground bokeh. So if you don't know what bokeh is, just a quick explanation. Bokeh is basically anything in your shot that's out of focus due to your lens. So that could be foreground or it can be background. Whatever's out of focus within your shot that isn't your subject, that's bokeh. So when I say foreground bokeh, I mean anything in the front of the frame that is not in focus, just to give your shot more depth and something interesting to look through. Now, a lot of the times this can be something called a frame within a frame. A frame within a frame is when you have a box that you're shooting through or something like that, that frames your subject right in the middle so you can see, it's almost like a framed painting on the wall. It just adds a little more, you know, catch to the eye. Now for this shot that I did right here, I didn't use a frame within a frame, but the foreground bokeh is the tennis ball. This also sort of falls under the props category because he's using the tennis racket. There's a tennis ball in this shot and the background's out of focus, so you have a nice 
soft background. That's pretty interesting. You know, a tennis court makes sense for the shot. No interesting shadows necessarily in this one. So I guess that one's out. But what we're focusing on here is foreground focus. So you can see that that tennis ball is out of focus. It gives the shot lots of depth. You can tell that that tennis ball is much closer to the frame than he is. It makes it look like he's about to hit it or he did hit it. He didn't actually hit it though. So if you want to achieve a shot like this, what I did was I held the camera real low on the ground and I had him hold his hitting position after he hit a ball just so it would feel more natural. And then I dropped a tennis ball right in front of the lens and shot it. This took a lot of attempts to get the tennis ball where I wanted it or almost where I wanted it. So I settled for this one because it worked out the best. Now, if you have a camera that shoots a faster burst mode, it'll be a little bit easier to capture exactly what you want. So that's all the tips that I have lined up for you guys, but just a couple of little things to mention at the end here. Make sure that you're reviewing your photos before you're done with your photo shoot. So after you shoot a couple of shots of something that you want, make sure you go through your camera's preview settings and check the shots that you got, just to make sure you got them in focus and they're exactly what you wanted to work with, or else you're gonna have nothing when you go into editing. You have to make sure that you have the shot before you move on. And also, not all of these steps apply all the time. You can use your creative judgment on this. Now, maybe you want the background to be closer because you want that style of photo, or you don't want shadows on somebody because it distracts from them, or you don't want to use props because you want to show this person exactly who they are. It all depends on the shot. These are just suggestions for you guys to make your photos a little more interesting and less like everybody else's. Also, something that's important to this channel for you guys to know, you can do any of this with your phone. It doesn't have to be with a fancy camera or a lens or anything like that. You can take your iPhone, your Android, whatever, and go out and shoot something like this. This doesn't take any fancy camera. All you need is props, uh, which you can find around the house, or you know, simply moving somebody that you're trying to take a picture of away from a background, or putting a shadow on them, or something like that. You can do all of this with any sort of camera that you own. It doesn't matter what it is. So get out there and start practicing. That's all the tips I have for these portraits, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more from me. You all have yourselves a great day.